Good afternoon, everyone. Look at this little um, bitch. On your lawn. Scared as hell. This is going to be my only video response to Tyrese Lee, you fucking soy boy. So first of all, do you understand how retarded you sound? And soy boy is Eli. Everyone's established that. You don't get to call me a name that applies to Coach Eli. The soy boy is who you're acting like you support, who you said out your own mouth is a pedophile. So there's no way, no matter how many evil trolls come around, they don't have a voice here. There's no way you can get around the fact you called this man a pedophile and said he had a boyfriend in the past, and you're doing what? Supporting him. You support pedophiles, ma'am? You're a criminal. Excuse the language, but it's true. Um, look, sir. Actually, it's not true, honey. I'm six foot two, 165 pounds, pure muscle, stronger than ever. Okay? I don't know what you're talking about. I have more than enough proof to shut down everything you're saying. Right? What are you talking about? Honey, every word that you state, you will eat. Guaranteed. No one's afraid of you. Yes, you are. You're scared to death. You can hear it in your voice right now. And if you look at your picture, you're a little bitch. And so is everyone who hang out with you. So you can say everyone is afraid of you. I don't need to say anything because your agenda has already been exposed to the public. That you came to try to destroy a man who's done nothing to you, never violated you, and you're literally talking about your butt hurt because I went in on you when you deserved it. Right. You don't want to take responsibility and accept accountability, and I didn't let you do that. You're a child. That's not a problem with me. That shows you have a mental problem. Right. I'm not going to tolerate mental illness because you have a disgusting old pussy. You're ugly. When I saw you, I laughed. When I looked at your picture, I went in on that and said it's disgusting. I'm being real. You're not. I'm beautiful. What are you talking about? I look better than James Bond right now. And your so-called charges. I proved it. Go ahead. Make our day. Yes, I have enemies. That's okay. But I can say I think we're all on Again, I don't know what you're talking about. You keep speculating with misinformation saying just a bunch of jive shit. I don't get that. I don't need to talk about anything personal with you. That's what you wanted me to do, right? You want me to talk about personal shit with you. Right, and I didn't. So why do you keep on talking with personal attacks? You don't know me. You keep speculating. And it's proven in your show. Same page when it comes to you, idiot. Now... First and foremost, the only idiot here is you. I mean, you proved that. You think that you played someone that's better than ever on top, the best looking son bitch in the planet. Just proved that. What are you talking about? Everything you said, go and get proven wrong. What do you mean? I have ignored your dumbass. I don't have to do anything because you didn't come with no ammo. You don't know how to do radio. You're not a killer on here, baby. You're a little bitch. Until Saturday. When I messaged you because I watched the video of how you continuously slammed me. Talking about me, wishing death. Never continuously slammed you. I went in on you because you're ignoring someone who you stated that you were in a full scale relationship with. See, you didn't play me. You want to have your cake and eat it too. It's one or the other. First, you're saying you played me. Then you're saying that I slammed you. How, did, how does that make sense? It's one or the other. You stated you were in a full-scale relationship. You ignored the guy you claimed to be with. I knew what you was on. You a little bitch. You do little bitch shit trying to violate people hiding. So I was ahead of you and ahead of the game. So I went the fuck in on you. That's the right thing to do. So you admit that you got slammed on him. Okay, good. You'll get slammed every time you deal with me, bitch. Oh, no, honey. This ain't over. This ain't ending at all. Okay? Your whole shit is fucking done. Well, news slash idiot, I don't have cancer. Yes, you do. You have a lump in your rib right now. You told me. Secrets out, baby. You want to talk about people's shit, right? Right? Something I don't do, right? Okay. You want to talk about private shit, right? Even though you haven't, because you have nothing on me. You tried. Your whole objective was I'm talking to you to try to elicit information that I can use against you to talk shit. I sniffed you out, gave you none of it. You had nothing to say about me this whole lot. So you wasted your time. 
but I have something on you that's real. You're worried about your life and think you're dying because you think you have cancer again because you have another lump in your rib. Your body overproduces estrogen, you say, so that you keep getting cancer. Weirdest thing I've ever heard. Never heard of that in my life. Get that through your skull. So why would I be upset when I don't have cancer? Why would I be upset when I don't have a lump in my rib? All day long, the only people who are triggered is you, buddy. That's why you're typing. It's easy. I'm as healthy as a horse. Okay. <laughs> okay. You healthy as a horse. Healthy as a horse, but you got to drink lemon water every day. Become a vegan. That means you're not healthy, honey. I eat whatever the fuck I want. I eat like trash. I'll eat snacks, cupcakes, all sorts of fucked up shit I'll put in my system. Because I can, because I burn it all. Bitch, my heart rate is equivalent, if not stronger, than Lance Armstrong's. My resting heart rate has been recorded at like 38. Do your research. That means you have the strongest heart in the world. Lance Armstrong's heart rate is right around there. It means that you've exercised your whole life. That you never stop moving. That's why I can run 10, 20 miles on command. You can't. So who's healthy as an ox? My health issues, I heal independently. What you are trying to do and can't do for yourself. I know how to cure cancer three different ways, honey. All natural. Studied it on my own. Experimented on myself on my own. Figured it out on my own. I'm a genius. There's no one in the world who knows that. I do. I know a chemical you can use with the chemo that'll make it work. I tried to help you out with that, a secret that, that quite frankly, I mean, look at Dr. Sebi. They killed him for fucking bringing out a little bit of info. I got better info than that. And I'm trying to help you and save your life, and you go against that guy. Bitch, the shit I told you to help you, I'm not even supposed to be disclosing. Not under anybody's rule or tutelage, just under my own. Like, I don't tell anyone my secret and what I know because I know how important it is. I'm not going to let nobody take credit for what I discovered. It's an actual like lab discovery. I did it on my own. I know a chemical that you can use with chemo that will make the chemo only hit your bad cells because if not, chemo kills your good and bad cells. So you're like a cockroach been put under a lamp. Your good cells have been killed already twice or however many times you did chemo. And you're like, I won't do chemo again. You don't have a choice, bitch. 